Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series or mini-series on Star Renegades. We covered this in a Let's Try series about a week or so ago, but it's going to be coming out now on September 8th here. It is a turn-based RPG roguelike that I absolutely super enjoyed. I, I could not wait for this to come out fully so that I could play it some more on the channel. Uh, I played, yeah, just probably like 50 minutes of it. We're going to start from the beginning here and I'm going to let this cutscene that starts off the game play out here because it's honestly it's like really really neat i'm gonna you know continue my intro here the uh the combat system is one of the biggest things that really drew me into it and i hope you guys appreciate it as much as i do but I'll, I'll shut up for the rest of this here and i'll talk when we're done All right, there we go. Do I know what's happening there? Not really. I know that there's like some time travel in this, and I think that that may be a hint at what was going on there. But we will pop on in. New game. We don't even have our file from the beta, the beta that we tested anyway. So we'll pop on in from the beginning, see what's new, see what's changed. Absolutely adored it. It has kind of like a uh, the combat visuals almost remind me of. Uh, what was that game? What was the Square Enix game? Octopath Traveler. Uh, but like, even more like crazy and cool. And there's like an overworld that's beautiful as well. It's super exciting. Over Nirage, Small Force Mysterious Raiders destroys the Mighty Star Union Armada. The surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by the relentless enemy squadrons. But yeah, this, this right here is the overworld. It's also very cool. It kind of got this interesting pixelated 2D, 3D kind of combo. Win, answer me. Let me know you're alive. I'm fine, Dad. The enemy fighters are good. Really good. I'm lucky I managed to get out in one piece. You get points for missing all those buildings. Ah, Zub Zub Crud. I've got more of those fighters on my tail. Where are they all coming from? I'm glad I get to read the Zub Zub Crud again. Landed by the train to Fort Garen. I can... If I can get to the base in time, if you can get ex those anti-aircraft guns online, my thoughts exactly. It'd be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'll call me when I'm over at the base over and out all right so we do get to click this to see what do we got here not the best use of taxpayer credits yes of course taxpayer credits i believe didn't they say they changed it from taxpayer dollars didn't they what an update <laughs> davian Sifix is the name of this fool right here picking up some strange signatures on that train something tells me they aren't commuters these raiders have ground troops too then eh all right, and here we go. Ooh, the battle load screen got fixed too. Every okay, I know that you're. If this is your first uh, view of the game, you're like, "What the hell are you talking about?" I'm just. We had like one issue with the game, and that was that the battles took a long time to load, and that got fixed. Beautiful. Let's see how they are at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Prepare to meet my doom. <laughs> Do you mean your doom? Oh, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'll take him out with a cleave. Prepare to meet my doom. So yeah, I could uh, I could read through this tutorial stuff, but what I do know is uh, basically the fact that you know, yeah, of course here, we might as well showcase this. Shields regenerate at the end of every combat. Health and armor can be increased or healed during camping, or health and armor crates found during your mission. So basically, we have our permanent health that we're gonna have between fights, and then we have our shields which regenerate at the end of every combat. So shields are basically our way to not lose health on our characters throughout our little campaign. Uh, it basically, we want to make sure that if we're losing health, we try to not lose more than our shields. It's, it's kind of what we're getting at there. Uh, because it is going to stick with us. Shields, of course, being the top one, health being down below. And up here is the very core mechanic of the game, the timeline. Basically, this is the order at which we attack. 
and then there's all kinds of things that will slowly push enemies back. If you attack before the enemy on the timeline with a move, depending on how, like, each move has their own speed that, in which they can come out. If we do this here, we are going to be, uh, apparently we're going to be able to crit. Okay, no, we, see, we got crit because it went first, and then, now, since we go later, there we go, all right. Good deal. We'll, we'll go over the crits in a second. He may be dumb, but I probably should hit him before he hits me. I'll recalibrate and crit him with a the slash. There we go. Now it's talking about it. Crit occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their action. The crit bonus is that applied is shown below. The attacking power of the main information right down there. Crits can do extra damage, break enemies, attack, pierce shields or armor, damage armor, or have other devastating effects. Be careful. Enemies can also crit your heroes if they are hit before they can execute their attack. So yeah, they all have their own unique thing. We can only do one right now. It only lets us do the slash. But you can see, since we are right here, they are right here, we do this. Each attack also knocks them back a certain direction. If you knock them off the bar, that gives them kind of like a... You can literally push them into the next turn, effectively. You can hit them into the next day, effectively. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. Okay. Shields down. Good deal. That got his attention. I'll smash him with a hue to break him and stall his attack. Attacks can stagger enemies' action, delaying it to execute in the later round. Yes, that's what I was talking about. The amount of stagger uh, an attack will do when it crits was shown in the green, besides the stagger time delay icon. With careful planning, you can chain attacks together to land multiple staggers on an enemy and break them by pushing them into the next round. However, enemies also have a stagger limit, which is the number right here. Uh, how many times they can be staggered before they are immune, shown on the timeline. So you can push them back quite a bit. Uh, I, spoilers, you're going to be able to have multiple characters in your party, so you can have them work together. So, like, you could attack and say he was all the way back here. We could push him here, and then effectively, maybe, like, our second character had a, a much slower attack. Like, it, it would take all the way until here to hit him. So you could combo by going boom to push him back here, and then you could push him back even further to push him off the screen. Is kind of what it's getting at, but see, we could only push him back. Uh, we can only push him back twice. So in that event, we would only be able to uh, push him back twice. We wouldn't with a third character. We wouldn't be able to. Time to end this. A slash and finish the job. Okay. Get out of here, punk. Hold the hold the skip. Okay, so skip space just speeds it up there. Rewards two credits. Taxpayer credits. Okay, I'm at the base. Just what I thought been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is teleported in. Uh, unit techs have been researching that for decades, how these guys do it. They may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against the next one. Just remember, you're training, you'll be fine. All right. I don't know. I just love this overworld thing here. Guess the earth shifted enough to expose one of these titans' hands. Oh, look at that. Okay. We got a combat here. If we get close enough to that guy, we will start our combat. God, he looks so... I just... I love this guy. Firewolf. The Imperium will make you burn. Sounds like you could use some ointment for that. Oh... Now let's try cleave. Oh, boy. Alright, so we're gonna push him into the next day here. He's got a resistance. Oh, it's gonna pull up a pop-up that'll... That'll tell me more about it in, uh, in clarity. I imagine, right? The visuals are so... I just love them so much. Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try Hue. Combat basics. Core damage type. All attacks have a core damage type that describes what kind of attack it is. They are light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo attacks. Adversaries may be weak to a specific core damage type and take extra damage and delays from them. However, they can also be resistant or even immune to specific core damage types and take little to no damage from them. Okay, so I believe we can uh, yeah, we can hit Z over here to maybe it won't it's not letting me do it yet. Oh, there we go. So it actually should say where 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 pierces armor. Does it not have? I guess it's maybe not ready to to show me yet since I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to hit the Z button there and it'll pull up the list of uh, of stats of what, like what they're immune to and strong to, stuff like that. That's better now to slash him for another break. 
Where do we got it? it? Should be somewhere. There we go. There we go. So yeah, it says right here, he's weak versus light attacks. He's weak versus normal attacks. Resists pyro damage. Okay. Don't matter. It's still the tutorial, so it's not like anything really matters, but I just wanted to show off that uh, that list there because it's super handy. As, as complicated as some of this stuff seems, it's a lot of it is listed out there. You just got to figure out the correct order, uh, the, the best order for things. His break limit is empty. So much for delaying him. I'll have to defend to minimize damage from his flame attack. So now there's a situation where we, uh, yeah, we can't, we literally can't push him back anymore. Um, so we pretty, pretty much have to... Uh, Go for the defend here, because we're going to be before him, but we can't... It's not letting me attack. So we're going to take quite a bit less damage there. And then it all resets there. Okay, pal, I'm getting sick of you. Let's try to crack your armor with Sunder. Armor absorbs damage before it reaches the health. The amount of damage that can be absorbed by your hit is equal to the amount of armor they have. So example, I mean, it's basically saying, like, if they have 8 armor, it resists 8 damage. But you can do attacks that will pierce it. Attacks that can cause armor damage on a crit. Uh, display the amount of armor damage done in the attack details, which is what this symbol has been the whole time. Some attacks or elemental damage types can pierce armor. While it doesn't damage the armor, it bypasses through it and damages the enemy's health directly. It, says, it would say right there with the pierces. Alright. Pop! So we're going to break a little bit of that armor, I do believe, right? Yeah, we broke it. Quite a bit of it. And we pushed him all the way into Tuesday. His armor's completely broken. Now to finish him off, I'll crit him with a slash. So yeah, all right. It'll, uh, this all does probably seem like a lot, and it is, it is kind of, but it really starts to make sense, I think, when you, when they give you free reign and you can sort of see how the, uh, all of the attacks work together. I could use those guns right about now. I've got a trail of fighters right behind me. Roger that. Yeesh, little sis to the rescue, I guess. Go click Fort Garen. What do you got? Also, I love this super tiny overworld character. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars, but now it's mostly used for training. Okay, we gotta go here to do a little... I guess it's, uh... Whoop. Can't click over there. It's kind of... I guess it's kind of just like entering a new room, effectively. All right. Okay, Dad, the guns are powered up. I'll lead the fighters right to you. It'll be like shooting zub zubs in a barrel. A zub zub. Uh, where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I've got a bad feel. Ing? Davian, pull up. Something else took remote control of the guns. I guess I botched the landing. Dav, you're alive. We gotta get out of there. Can you walk? I'm fine, just a little shaken. That was a close call. I found what you're looking for, mommy. <laughs> He's as pathetic as you said he'd be. <laughs> I don't know. It just gets me. Just changing that up. Your life, it is nothing. Kind of sounds like dad, right? Not the time for jokes, Win. Remember, find his weakness, exploit it again and again. Maybe I am something like dad now. Combat basics, use the inspection mode, here we go. When in inspection mode, you can view a unit's traits, effects, to see what weaknesses, strengths, resistances, and immunities they have. When targeting an enemy, you can, are shown the prediction of the outcome of your actions on the enemy for that round. If your actions will presumably result in the death of an enemy, then a kill shot indicator will be displayed. Important damage predictions in the kill shot indicator are not always 100% accurate because many things, heals, damage buff, defense buffs, can happen before the final blow lands, resulting in a changed outcome. Alright, so, we shall hit our, uh, our Z button here, our Z button. We got minus 50% defense for heavy attacks, bonus defense versus light. So, we, in theory, we do want to hit him harder with the, uh, the heavy attacks here. So, we got a flurry, AoE, heavy, and a, uh, what's that, and defend. So we can switch between the two different attackers here. I think the uh, the right idea would be to use an attack that will push him back. Ideally, th this doesn't push him back at all. Yeah, that doesn't even push him back at all. Ideally, one that uh, is not 
Let's see. We can do it. Who's not uh, normal, but I think that we're going to go for it anyways. We're going to do the normal. That'll push him back like a heck of a lot. And then see, since he's so fa far back on the uh, the bar, we can use this move, which is the heavy vivisect move. That is very, very slow, but it's going to do a lot of damage and push him off of the bar. That's effectively the whole, uh, the whole rigmarole that we're going to be going through here. That's, that's like the super simple gist of it. It seems complicated, but it's got uh, kind of summed up pretty well by that turn there. So now we cannot push him back anymore. He is going to be attacking for quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. It doesn't it, does it not say the number or anything? It doesn't seem like it. I think that we might want to go for defend on the front there. And then, I don't know. We, we can't push him back. We might as well go for damage. So that will not even break. Okay, it'll, it'll just barely break into the, uh, the pink health. That will not. Just do it. All right. Laser eyes. I just I love the the glow that happens around the screen that, that how it kind of takes up the whole screen. The lighting effects are just really really neat with this style of game in my opinion. I really love them. When remember that combo attack we used to practice? The one we broke dad's grab hopper window doing? That's the one. Now's it's a good time to try it out again. Good idea. Just make sure we generated some fury first. Your heroes generate fury when landing crits and breaks on the enemies. Crits generate one fury. Well, breaks, which is pushing them off the whole bar entirely, generates three fury. Use fury to execute special actions or combo maneuvers for devastating effect. Combos are special maneuvers that cost fury and are executed by two of your heroes simultaneously. Each combo can only be executed once per combat. Combos are only available for heroes who have strong relationships, which can be increased during camping which is going to be something we'll kind of get into later there. Uh, so we actually, yeah, we can't do it yet. Let's push back real far. This just seems like a nightmare scenario for you, my friend. Actually, we should go for the, we should be smarter about this. We should go for the one that breaks more armor. And then this one. Because those are both they're both heavy attacks. I think we're gonna kill him before anything's relevant here. Beautiful. Goodbye, tutorial boy. A temporary setback. Mommy shall soon have her victory. <laughs> I don't know why that gets me. Uh stay back, win, I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma he makes up for in hideousness. Mommy only wants you, Davy and Sifix. She has no interest in the female. No way you're gonna do this solo, Dab. We need it to work together to defeat him. All right. Big hit coming in. We need to figure out what he is. Uh... Let's see. Come on. He has no particular weaknesses. So, I mean, I'm. Pr let's be real. We kind of. You, you probably know how this is going to go, don't you? Let's get this sunder. Pushes him back quite a bit. I mean, it's a lot. I wonder if there is a way. Th those who watch the other video, you know, you, and who have played a lot of RPGs, probably have a good vibe about what's going to go on here. But I, I wonder if there's anything we can do about it. <laughs> hint, hint. Enough. This is taking far too long. The results are inevitable. Dad, get back. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the defense... There's literally no way. We shall Sifix slam. For honor. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. It literally... Like, it does that much. Shock Ah, first major boss of the RPG is a must-lose battle. Who could have seen it coming? No, this can't be happening. Mommy, I have done what you asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. 
You punk! Don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. Dav, come on, get up, please. I can't do it without you. Well, you're gonna have to. Ta-da! <laughs> the Imperium Throne Room. The Throne Room is where you can view details about the Imperium hierarchy and all the currently known leaders, behemoths, and adversaries from time to time. You'll be, you'll be brought here to witness events such as deaths, promotions, and introductions within the Imperium. You can also access the Imperium Throne Room directly from the main menu. Adversaries are the elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities, so no two adversaries are ever the same. Adversaries can also be promoted, evolve, and grow stronger whenever they are able to defeat you. Adversaries are usually guarding rare or epic reward crates. So, I mean, if you're not familiar with the, um, like, the Shadow of Mordor Nemesis system, this is, that's effectively what this is if you are. But otherwise, it's, they're going to remember you. If they defeat you, they kind of, they get stronger, and they become a bigger bad, effectively. So, while you can get stronger, so can they. And this guy, Harold, Harold, we got, uh, we got a little vendetta against you now, that's for sure. And all these other ones, we don't really know what's up with those as of yet. Meanwhile, elsewhere. There, I found them. That's where the Imperium have invaded next. They must have already started their attack. All right, the only thing left to do is to is turn you on. Beautiful, all systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over after all. Did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. That should come in handy. Now, Justin, just, Justin, Justin, right? Like, we have to go outside. I'll lead, let you lead the way. Beep boop. Okay. That's the one thing I gotta get used to. Yeah, we have to... You do have to click doorways still. Oh, look at you, Justin. Eh? These buildings usually aren't on fire. The attack just ended. That They'll probably be back soon to finish the job, so we have to hurry. The entry point is right over there. Pay attention, J5. You need to walk through this portal and deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only other person I can trust. You might be a little testy. That's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find and play this message I gave you. Can you do that? I'll take that as a yes. Countless lives depend on you doing that. Though, try not to let that give you a big head or sphere, I suppose. Go through the portal when you are ready. What's that? Don't worry about me. Your mission's the only thing that matters anymore. Bye. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works. He made it good. Now you're just hoping he can. There you are. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got me, haven't you? That wasn't there before. Eh? Many of you told me what Davian meant to you. For that, I thank you. I only wish Davian were here so you could tell him directly. Thank you, Win. A moment of silence for a fallen warrior, please. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is new. They, they did change up the beginning. That's pretty cool. Now, in the business at hand, some of you approached me wondering what the council plans to do with these raiders. The ones that destroyed the armada and killed Colonel Sifix. And as a member of the Joint Chiefs, let me just say we have a plan. We will rebuild the armada stronger than ever. And we'll send back the vessel to hell the hell it came from. What I say about not being... Uh, come home here. Give me whatever message you have. In the, in the middle of studying the most important unexplainable content phenomenon of my career, so whatever it is, I hope it's reality shattering. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Okay, I guess that counts. Let's cut to the chase. I'm you and you're me. We're from different realities. I know this is highly confusing even to you. I've sent this hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to warn you. Your reality is under attack, even as we speak. Does this have anything to do with the Q71 Q71 entanglement phenomenon you detect over Norosh. Precisely. Oh, of course, that. You've certainly alerted the Star Union Council, and they've dispatched the Armada to investigate. You'll learn very soon that the Armada has been destroyed by a starship of unimaginable power cloaked in entanglement. This ship is from another reality, and its goal is to conquer your entire galaxy. I know because they've already conquered mine. I've got to warn them? It's far too late, but when the Council calls, seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities, you will need to have a plan ready. That's where I come in. I know the invader's next move and how you can stop him. If you follow my lead, your word has a shot. If you fail, 
promise me you'll just send Justin through the next reality to they invade because they will never stop. Roguelike. Now listen up, here's the plan. First step is reach out, ooh, this is new. Reach out to General Geddon and tell him to play this message. You'll need to explain it to him. He'll help you form the kind of task force necessary to bring the invasion down. Oh, cool. Select planet, Menku. Getting achievements left, right, and center as well. All right, here we go. What do you need me to do, mommy? Kill them all? All right, that seems reasonable. So Voth, Voth Course is our first real target here. So if we die, for example, yeah, if we die to him, he's just gonna get stronger. All right, hates guard break. Enraged when his guard is broken. Okay. And then use an elite Imperium soldier strength. Immune to defense. He has extra defense versus counters. He's an elite. He's weak versus combo attacks and armor damage. Interesting. Okay. So that will be obviously useful in the future when we have more units and everything and, uh, and attacks that we want to adjust. There's going to be equipment that'll change up our attacks on our multiple units that we do now have. I am pretty darn sure. Sorry about that. The engineer said the landing would be smoother. Gone through worse landings lately. As long as you and Justin survive, it's a success in my book. Should help your companions with their pods. It seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches. All right. On it. Come on, Justin. Help me out. Oh, Zerk's Nerza. <laughs> Zerk's Nerza. How's the trip? I'll praise Lord Bachula for delivering us safely to the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Tides be praised, etc., etc. I get it. Look, you're not going to try to convert me again, are you? Got Zerk's Nerza. And Nodo Calthoris. I'm locked and loaded, ready to roll out. Let's smoke these bogeys. What are you doing? Just talking a little space marine. Don't you like it? I can switch to Nodo normal style. Yeah, why don't you do that? No problem. No normal it is, boyo. Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of that Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky, though. One of the elite officers will be stationed at the base. You'll have to go through him. Be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. Now lock and load, boyos. <laughs> Time to tag and bag some Imperium drones. Now roll out. See, I told you that's how space marines talk. My spiritual teachings tell me that both paths are favored for our objective. There is some clearly knows no bounds. Bosley, so you know these fundamentalists are, are not big on sarcasm. This is true. We preach a radical form of honest discourse devoid of any exaggeration or form of subtlety. You do? No, that was my demonstration of sarcasm to you, idiot human. Not bad. All right, so we should have, yeah, we got our full team here. I am, I'll admit, I'm kind of curious. Oh, there's, a, there's a, a whole other path. That's what he was saying. Okay. We'll take a different path than we took the last time we played. So, direct strike, shields steel. Let's see. What are, you, what are you weak to? You're weak to nothing. But you're also strong to nothing. I kind of like the idea of getting rid of the guy who steals shields first. It strikes me as a good idea, but here we got all our different attacks we got to focus on now. We only have slash cleave and defend over here. We got straight shot blitz, a normal and a light attack. It's a light attack that, oh my goodness, pushes them off all the way back so I, I think i want to do that right get you all the way out of here interesting so you don't we don't queue up our attacks anymore and then they unleash we do we do it one by one they actually that is a actually changed that's interesting okay bestow shields so zerk's nerza is a little bit He's a little bit more of a uh, of a support class, per se. Uh, let's see. Do we want to... This is a good question. Do we want to make it so we don't take this direct strike damage? We will lose all of our shields if we don't. So, he's got a little bit of armor. It's a heavy attack. Discharge, how much would this push you back? Pushes him back to about right here. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> let's get, uh, let's see, what does it look like? 
We could do it from here. That That's not bad. Cleave does a bit more damage. <sighs> Should I... I, I, I want to push it back. I want to push it back, see what we can do there. And then I guess we could bestow shields? Or with the discharge... It does not... See, it does not push him back all the way. So we will bestow 50 shields to... Uh, what's his name? Space Marine. Star-Lord. Okay. Extra 50. Extra 30. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So it looks like we... It, it's only like a shield heal. It doesn't look like we can stack them any higher. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. Okay, so... Incoming shields steal. I kind of like the idea of the blitz again. It's like a really far push. It doesn't, it's not a break and we won't be able to break him. This is, see, that's the thing. We know for a fact we will not be able to push him off since that technically doesn't right there. Push him at the limit. So maybe instead then we might want to, oh, this is an AOE. 26 damage to everybody. All right, let's bestow shields <clears throat> right there. We can push this guy off for sure. Straight shot, does this knock back at all? This is okay, we'll, we'll just let the, the shield steal happen. There we go. All right, so now the attacks are going in acute order. Got it under the armpit. Alright, so there we go. The shields are replenished there. Big ol' crit. He dead, son. Alright. Good deal. Shield steal. Good deal, shield steal. I don't think we really need to bother with the, uh... The huge knockback move, because I think this should do it. That does not. Cleave does not. We could push him all the way off with uh, with Slash. I think we might as well do that. Shield Steel. I mean, I guess I don't really... Don't really care. We don't really want to give ourselves more shields. If it means that um, he's just going to steal more. Right? Okay, so he... Did he do a little bit of damage too? If he did, okay, he did two damage. He technically did. All right, well, whatever. Hardly that big of a deal. Okay, it's a kill shot. I mean, we should be fine. We don't need to worry about healing up those shields that were taken because like we mentioned prior, they do get restored at the beginning of every combat. Got four DNA. Job's a job. Job's a job. Okay. Check out our squad with V there. It's pretty cool looking. Pop over here, get this chest. The, up there, when I went that path, it had uh, it had equipment actually. Okay, shield steel. Oh, you punk! All right, we need to push back somebody. See, so Blitz is a great way to insta break somebody. I'm going to do the insta-break on you, because I, I just want you delayed. I, I like the idea of, uh, of killing that guy second. So we definitely don't need to go for bestow shields now. It literally, it just doesn't make sense. So he's pushed back enough for this to actually knock him back, not knock him into the next day. Let's do it. We'll knock him back into Tuesday. Okay, so now we cannot knock him back anymore. The shield steal is inevitable. And the attack is inevitable as well. I th think that the shield steal happens second, though. It looks like it happens second. I'm going to defend regardless, just because I'm concerned that I could be wrong. And these are... Just a little too, little too delayed here. Am I, am I wrong? Okay, so yeah, it's good that that happens first because now the shield steal in theory happens. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Because we can kill that guy with the AoE. We're going to do that for sure. Like, That's a no-brainer. But we kind of want to probably... Let's see. Do the Blitz. Distribute shields. The Blitz would push him into the next day here. I like the thought of that. And we will go for the Discharge. Because that'll, of course, kill that one over there. And then I think we just want to go for the biggest... Biggest number. This should... This looks like a kill all around. Good deal. Boom. Titan Hand. Mystery, the magic, the mystique of Titan Hands. In the end, it's just a hand, but really it's a very old hand. I dare you to stand inside that hand. Don't worry, they never squeeze shut. Well, almost never. Okay, maybe that was the one that had the uh, the equipment for us. Okay, do you guys have any weaknesses? You have grounded when stunned. Okay. Flying, but grounded when stunned. Of course, we could blitz somebody. You know that I could blitz somebody. If we crit... Crit bonus. Shreds and armor. I kind of, you know what? I kind of like the thought of doing that. We can break you. And we could probably just, honestly, we could probably kill shot. We're going to take a little bit of damage, but we can handle a little bit of damage. That's okay. If we were going to kill a whole unit, yeah. That's, that's worth it. Because then we can just, like, we can shuffle things around and push them back. Push them back easy peasy. Uh, let's see. Straight shot. I like the idea of straight shot. It does more damage and it pushes it back enough for us to be able to get the cleave off. And that's... That's good enough. Ladies and gentlemen. Get got. Next up, I think, is going to be our boss here. Could be wrong, but we have, uh... Oh, no, he's... De yeah, he's defending the equipment. We got a level up. When you've attained enough DNA, you can use it to level up your heroes. Levels are reset when you return to the Renegade base and jump to the next dimension. Use DNA to decide who you want to level up. Leveling up will increase their health, damage, and possibly grant a new power or camping card. Potential new powers or cards are displayed in the Heroes to Details panel. Ah, who to level up? I mean, let's level up our main lady, right? Level up to new power battle cry. We have seven. We can do another one. Zerk's Nerza. Gotta love Zerk's Nerza. I did not actually see what it just said there for what it gave us. Do you wonder what this giant gun symbolizes? Bad time for Imperium to take a bathroom break. Now we have their gun. Sometimes a big gun is just a big gun. If only. Okay, so we get that equipment afterward. If I kill these guys, we can all go home, probably. For mommy. Here we go. So we got our uh, our mini boss here. Hold on. What does you what does you do? Voth course. He's covering an uh, covering fire on an ally. So if we attack the ally, he'll shoot at us. Hates guard break. He gets enraged when guard is broken. Plus defense versus counters. Minus defense versus armor damage. Uh Okay. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna go for big boy, I suppose. If attacking this is going to just cause issues. It's gonna only do it's gonna do perfect armor. Counter overwatch hit. Are we gonna get hit no matter what? I didn't doesn't didn't seem like it. What's battle cry do? Free action. Haunts the enemy. Ah. Uh, nah, it's fine. I'd rather have her not. Titan strength. Free action. Uh, applies effect. Increased damage. Ooh. Zerk's Nerza. So I can't push him back. 
Oh my goodness. But we can just like totally blow him up. Did that Did that not work? Oh, we're using all of our fury. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay. Do we want to discharge? Discharge first would break some armor. That would break a little bit of the armor. Let me go in for the uh, the large cleave. That's okay. I'm fine with our shields going down on that guy. He's honestly my least my least favorite boyo, and we can always just put the shields back on. Might makes right. Okay, so now we're taking direct fire. The overwatch is down. We can attack you. Uh, we could, of course, do discharge again. We did take an overwatch hit. I don't think we need to, though. We'll straight shot kill. Straight shot will not kill. Slash will not kill. Cleave will not kill. We could literally just break him in the next day. That also works. He does get angry when his armor breaks, but that's okay. Actually, you're attacking who? That's actually, that's fine. We can just use that to our advantage if we can get a kill off on the big boy. That's, that's really just more important. And we'll bestow shields here for later. We can bestow shields, and Voth course is done, son. We do still have to fight this guy here. Uh, once again, bestow shields. And if we blitz you, oh my, oh my god, I keep on forgetting. Yeah, blitz just knocks him like straight off. It's it's pretty crazy. When there's only one, it's super solid. Good deal. All right. Lieutenant Liquidator. We got a camping card. Defeated adversary lieutenant together. Exhaust when used. Memory. Dynamic duo. Okay. I'm excited to see what the uh, the camping is like. I think that's going to be on like bigger things. You know, kind of like a, a long Darkest Dungeon camp or uh, outing instead of like a short one, for example. I was just following orders. Boom. You're done, son. All right. Well, Mysterious Box, how convenient. Let's keep get our equipment here choose one it can be equipped by ah so it can only be equipped by one health extra health plus damage to all attacks if we put that on uh, our main character there laser plus 25 percent damage versus health and inflicts irradiated i mean that sounds really nice we only get one impressive technology yet accursed nonetheless imperium tech is more advanced than ours in every way so feel free to steal anything you can i wouldn't mind the opportunity to analyze it imperium must have a huge r d budget and yet the actual imperium soldiers are monumentally stupid what gives my best guess is the cross quantum journey takes a toll on the brain functions this would explain why they're networked into an advanced ai neural net although anyone guess why they refer to the ai as mommy this is why i'm glad the bots no long do not have parents all powerful creators who can legally dismantle us at their whim all right, we've done it. Great job. You slice and dice those bogeys. Now that their base belongs to you, you've earned a break. Set up camp, get some rest, and we'll push on in the morning. All right. Camping allows your heroes to rest and regain affection from each other. Each hero has their own set of camping cards they can play on themselves and other heroes. Camping cards cost action points and grant special status effects, regenerate lost health, repair armor, and increase affection between heroes. They're shared between all heroes and cards that can vary in their action point costs. Once you've used all your action points, they'll go to sleep. As your heroes gain affection for each other, they strengthen their relationship, unlock conversation bonuses, beneficial traits, combo powers, and sometimes even new progeny heroes. Comforting words. You know what? Oh, I can only give it to you. Okay. Now I don't have to steal it. You shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Heal health. Not an issue. 
Bonus max shields. Cool. All right. Solid. All right. That is going to do it for today, though. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, especially on a brand new series. It helps a heck of a lot. Greatly appreciate it. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and we will be covering Star Renegades daily for at least a little while here. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.